हेलो स्टूडेंट दिस इज डॉक्टर सर फ्रॉम जगदम्बा एजुकेशन सोसाइटी एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट टूडे एज ऑल ऑफ यूर अवेयर वी कॉन्ट एबल टू गैदर टूगेदर फिजिकली एंड कंडक्ट अवर एकेडमिक्स एंड दैट इज द रीजन वी हैव चूजन द डिफरेंट वेज सो दैट अवर एकेडमिक will not get stop and uh, whatever our curriculum is there will carry on with that so first of all i welcome you all in the final year of your course and first semester of your course so in the first semester we have the subject artificial intelligence and the robotics and along with that i'm i am also handling your uh, laboratory practice one so first of all just uh, we will go through the teaching marking scheme course content and then we will carry on with the actual content of the subject let's see here in the syllabus of artificial intelligence and the robotics we have the credit of 3 for this subject in same marks 30 marks in sem and for the end semester we have the 70 marks in this uh, we have the six units with the equal weightage and today we are going to start with the first unit that is the introduction so uh, first three units of uh, specifically we are going to study about the artificial intelligence and then next we have the natural language processing the sub fields or the what you can say related part of uh, artificial intelligence then we have the robotics and the some of the application of the robotics in practice okay so related to this subject we are also going to have uh, the practicals that is uh, laboratory practice one okay uh, in case of the laboratory practice one uh let's see the marking scheme and other details so uh in case of lp1 uh we have the credit of 2 term mark of 50 marks and the practical of 50 marks now laboratory to uh, laboratory practice 1 consist of the three subjects practicals which is being divided into three groups group a b and c and in the group first group we have the practicals related with the high performance performance computing in that we are going to see the uh, practicals related with the parallel implementation etc etc and uh, here we have to use some new platform also okay uh, for example open mp mpi this platform we are going to utilize uh, to do the parallel implementation uh related with the language language we are going to deal with the c c++ and java uh, related with the uh, your first group okay second group of practical is related with the artificial intelligence and the robotics now uh, here also we are going to see uh, some new platform and the new language now here also uh, we are going to implement some games uh, puzzle problems okay and we are going to develop one expert system also Now, in case of these, the languages are same C, C++, Java. One additional language that we are going to uh, refer here that is nothing but the Prolog. And using that Prolog language, we are going to develop the sample expert system. Okay. Uh, as well as uh, uh, we are going to see the chartboard program also. Uh, chartboard program developing the elementary chartboard for suggesting the investment etc now here also we are going to utilize one new platform one new platform and the language that is the ai ml artificial intelligence markup language to develop this kind of experiment okay so this is the group b and your group c is related to the data analytics now here uh, most of the new things we are going to learn Uh, like uh, you know to implement the practicals of the data analytics we are going to utilize r language and the r platform as well as we are going to utilize the hadoop platform also which is new and the popular one for the purpose of data analysis 
so our language and the our platform along with the hadoop platform these are the some new things we are going to learn in the data analytics part so whenever our practical session will start we will cover all these details so this is just for your overview purpose okay now let's start with the <coughs> contents uh now in the unit 1 we are going to see the basics of the artificial intelligence these are the course content of the first unit introduction applications and some uh, basic uh, algorithms related with the uh, artificial intelligence are there so today we are just going to see uh, the introductory part definition history of the artificial intelligence and uh, some applications of the artificial intelligence uh, related to the lp1 i already told you some new platform the languages that were utilized these are languages c c++ java that already you are familiar but new one are the r prolog uh, then the in case of the platform of the hadoop open mp and the mpi open multi processing and message passing interface these are the new platform that we are going to utilize uh, in the practicals okay now let's move toward the artificial intelligence introduction subject what does it actually mean now if we start with the term if i ask you what is the meaning of artificial then you must be very well known artificial is nothing but the non natural which is not present naturally which is being made by the human that things are being considered as a artificial okay that is the meaning of artificial now if i ask you the meaning of the intelligence now you can you can describe the intelligence in the various ways like uh, intelligence can be considered as intelligence of the ability to think learn act according to the situation and the environment okay so it is a simple process of applying the knowledge it can also be defined as the ability to adapt to the changes in the environment understood so these things you can consider as intelligence so those who are able to think and learn according to the situation and environment that particular person or the human you can say it is a he is a intelligence one understood there are the also uh, criteria uh, which you can uh, consider related to the intelligence for example what i have mentioned here it can be also defined the ability to adapt to the changes in the environment so for example uh, uh, if i if i uh, uh, if you take the example suppose uh, you are going outside and uh, you are uh, by observing at uh, uh, cloud you can see there is a chances of the raining so you can uh, go outside by carrying the umbrella with you understood and whenever uh, the raining will start instantly you open your umbrella okay to protect you from the rain so that is nothing but the simple uh, example of ability to adapt to the changes in the environment or ability to adapt according to the situation okay i hope you have got that point also intelligence can be uh, described in another way to respond to the situation very flexibly that uh, example for that you can take suppose you are going on the road and some bike or vehicle uh, uh, comes near to you and you 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 think that the accident might happen your accident might happen with that bike so instantly you change your direction and go to the another direction to protect yourself so this is nothing but to respond to the situation very flexibly so that is also come under the point of the intelligence then to make sense out of the ambiguous or the contradictory messages so if somebody able to do this to making the sense out of the contradictory or the ambiguous messages that person is being also considered as a intelligence for example if i give you the example now this is the example for example like raju gave bath to his dog wearing a pink shirt now this statement is the contradictory statement or the ambiguous statement how read it again raju gave bath to his dog wearing pink shirt now here initially you cannot able to tell who is wearing the pink shirt whether a dog is wearing the pink shirt or raju but if you just use simple common sense you can the most chances are here raju is wearing the pink shirt understood 
so that is nothing but the meaning of uh, this uh, statement to make sense out of the ambiguous or the contradictory messages that also comes under the point of the intelligence then another thing to recognize the relative importance of the different elements of situation what to recognize the relative importance of different elements of situation means suppose uh, if i give you the two situation uh, one situation is from tomorrow your final exams are going to start that is the one situation and another situation today your favorite movie is going to be play on the tv channel these are the two situation now to which situation you will give the more importance definitely you will give the more important importance to the first situation that your exam will going to be start from the tomorrow and so you will do study instead of watching the movies so this is nothing but the, to recognize the relative importance of different elements of situation which is being also considered as a point of the intelligence okay so i hope you have got the clear concept of what is actually meaning by the artificial and what is actually mean by the intelligence understood so now come to the our definition of artificial intelligence now if you see the definition the theory and the development of computer system able to perform the task normally requiring the human intelligence such as visual perception speech recognition decision making and translation between the languages now if you see these human intelligence such as the visual perception speech recognition decision making and the translation between the languages now human being can easily do this kind of activities like visual perception means by observing something human being can easily tell what is that particular object is okay as well as speech recognition means if i am speaking with you in english you can easily understand what is the meaning of speech that i am uh, speaking with you what is the meaning of uh, uh, words that i am speaking with you that is nothing but the speech recognition decision making human being can easily make the decision between the different situation and translation between the languages if i am speaking with you in the english you can easily translate it in the marathi or the hindi understood so these are nothing but the task which is being normally performed by the human being now artificial intelligence is nothing but what development of machine what development of computer system or the machine who can perform this task just like the human being understood in short here you can see development of the system able to perform human like activities like behaving like a human understanding like a human thinking like a human and learning like a human so these are all the things being done by the human being so developing the machine or computer system who can do all this kind of activity just like a human that particular concept is nothing but called as the artificial intelligence okay means what if i uh, tell you in the another language hindi language humko ek aisi machine banana hai or uh, we want to make some machine or computer system जो कि इंसान की तरह बिहेव कर सके इंसान की तरह अंडरस्टैंडिंग कर सके इंसान की तरह विचार कर सके एंड इंसान की तरह लर्न कर सके ओके सो मेकिंग सच काइंड ऑफ मशीन हु कैन डू और हु कैन रिएक्ट लाइक द ह्यूमन बीइंग दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस सो व्हाई दैट मशीन इज बीइंग रिफर्ड एज अ why that machine will be come under the concept of the artificial intelligence why that is not being considered as a natural intelligence because you know the machine is nothing until you put some uh, what you can say the programming in that machine understood so if you put some programming uh, intelligence in that machine that's why that being considered as what 
or that being come under the category of what that intelligence is become what the artificial intelligence because with the machine intelligence is not present uh, what you can say just like it is being present with the human being uh, naturally it cannot be present with the machine naturally understood and that's why that particular intelligence which is being put within a machine by the human being so that machine can think learn understand like a human being that's why that is being referred as what the artificial intelligence okay so i hope you have got the concept of what actually exactly mean by the artificial intelligence once again i repeat is making the machine who can perform the human like activities like behaving like human understanding like human thinking like human and learning like a human being so making that kind of system and study of that system is nothing but called as what the artificial intelligence here also i mentioned the same thing theory and the development of computer system able to perform tasks normally requiring the human intelligence visual perception speech recognition decision making and the translation between the language we have to make the machine who can do the activities like the human being that is nothing but the simply concept of artificial intelligence that's it. yes now let's see the history from where uh, the working on this uh, particular technique or technology artificial intelligence starts now during the world war 2 that is the period of 1939 to the 45 uh, to break the german communication the english mathematician to break the german communication means was to understand the german communication the english mathematician scientist sir alan turing wrote a landmark paper he wrote one research paper and name of that research paper was what computing machinery and the intelligence okay and in this paper he put his idea he put his idea by asking the question can machine think just like the human being can think he asked the question can machine think understood and to support his uh, idea he made one machine okay and to prove whether machine can be a intelligent like a human being he made one machine that is being named with the turing machine and he asked one question to that machine for example he asked xyz question to that machine and he got some answer in the similar way he asked that question to the human being and he get some answer from the human okay he asked question to the two entities one is the machine and one is the human being and he get the two ans he get the answer from machine also he get the answer from human being also then he compare that two answer answer given by the machine and the human being and from that he conclude whether the answer given by both of these entities are similar completely or partially similar or not completely similar from that he concluded that uh, as he get the answer partially similar so he concluded that yes machine can also think like a human being understood and uh, from that comparison of the answer uh, he started working on this particular uh, point of uh, this uh, uh, this theory of how the can machine thinks so he started working on that concept which is then being further uh, proceed by uh, john mccarthy john mccarthy in the 1956 he also proposed uh, his idea in workshop and in that workshop he discovered the term the study of artificial intelligence okay so this is the some history and then forward uh, after that the uh, various experiments started on the uh, concept of artificial intelligence and now you can see there are the huge application of artificial intelligence are present in the market using which uh the number of things can be done easily and uh, also the future work is also uh will will be future work also be carry on on the this concept of the artificial intelligence okay now i just want to make one point clear here just i told you ki human can think understand learn etc etc now how it become possible first we'll think about the human being and then we'll try to uh, apply that to the machine a human can think 
understand learn etc etc because human is having some source of uh, uh, what we can say human is having some source of learning along with him now what is the source of learning for the human being from its childhood so source of learning for the human beings are nothing but their parents teachers the observations done by the human beings the sense uh, the different sensors are available with the human beings like eyes uh, uh, ears nose like that kind of things from this he used to gather the different kind of information and from that thing he uh, learn understand and uh, uh, do the activity so that is the things available with the human beings okay now think about the machine so for machine the source of learning is what how the machine will learn okay and here important uh, point here is what the source of learning for the machine is nothing but the data understood so if data is available with the machine then machine can compare that data and after comparing that data he can he can produce some valuable important patterns from that and then only machine can learn from okay so point of uh, study is what machine for the machine the source of learning is the data it compare the previously newly available data and from that it he creates some valuable patterns and then try to learn from that data by using that patterns and then it gives us some kind of uh, answer or it performs some kind of activity understood so related with this we will uh, going to see the examples also so for machine the source of learning is nothing but the data understood might be a new data previously available data etc etc so for that along with the now you know to make this concept of the artificial intelligence completely successful so there is a there is a need of different kind of another technologies and one of that is nothing but the machine learning technology and the deep learning technology understood these two important uh, techniques are uh, need to be there in order to make the artificial intelligence completely successful so if you ask me what is actually mean by the machine learning in the further part we are going to study that just for your understanding purpose here machine learning now the that term itself giving you the some kind of idea machine learning means machine learning uh, machine is learning itself understood itself in the sense from the data itself machine is learning understood now to learn machine by itself there is a different kind of machine learning algorithms are there that we are going to see okay so with the help of various kind of machine learning algorithm machine learns and when the machine learns and act then we can say that machine is nothing but what intelligent and putting that kind of uh, what we can say uh, <clears throat> knowledge within a machine by using some uh, machine learning algorithms and uh, then that machine learning algorithm apply on the data and then that machine become intelligence then that thing is nothing but concept of what the artificial intelligence knowledge is not already uh, available with the machine but we are using some machine learning algorithm and we are making machine uh, to capable to learn from the data okay might be the new and the previous and then machine learning from that and then machine performing some activity and that see that is the concept of what the artificial intelligence okay now next we are going to study the point of uh, the important ki various application from that you will get the clear idea also uh, regarding the uh, artificial intelligence and its uh, related point machine learning okay so machine learning is simply what machine learning uh, this terms are completely related related in the sense artificial intelligence cannot be become successful uh, until you take the help of the machine learning so machine learning is considered to be the sub field of the artificial intelligence understood so he both of this term artificial intelligence also the branch of computer science as well as the machine learning is also the branch of computer uh, science okay both are the things both things are the related okay so next we will study the application of artificial intelligence okay